To growth in e-commerce, what is the future of brick and mortar? Well, here's a little bit of background. E-commerce accounts for about 24% of all non-electric housewares and about 29% of all kitchen electrics according to MPD's consumer tracking services. Products that are more planned and less urgent, like ice cream makers, are more likely to be bought online, while more urgent everyday life items such as toasters and can openers are more likely to be bought in store. So what does this mean for brick and mortar? Well, if we think about movie theaters who have been challenged by Blockbuster, HBO, cable television, streaming, etc., yet have weathered the storm, what lessons can we learn? One, they improve their core benefit and today offer 3D and IMAX to provide a better experience while also offer comfortable seats. Similarly, retailers today are making great advancement in merchandising to help you better select products, make it easier to check out, and advancements in helping you get the product home. Two, movie theaters are also advanced some of their secondary benefits that include improved quality of food. Retailers are making advancements using technology to help you do research and plan for your needs. From computers in the aisle to virtual and augmented reality, and this is just a start. Retailers are also advancing abilities to help consumers plan for life events, such as first home, kitchen remodel, entertaining, health and wellness. We're still early, but there's progress being made. Three, finally, movie theaters have broadened a definition of their core essence for moviegoers. Many theaters serve wine and beer, and some have even set up bars in their lobbies, allowing consumers to extend their experience. Retailers have a white space to create new types of experiences, whether that is providing a reason to be a destination like offering a restaurant or cooking classes, to helping solve some unarticulated needs. For example, one concern consumers have with buying new tabletop is what to do with the old. We hate to waste. Retailers may be able to help by providing options for recycling previously owned products. I expect over the next few years more innovation to help expand the definition of what we have all heard the essence of brick and mortar is, to provide the consumer an experience.